What's going on everybody? Painblade back here again from Server 1 representing IC. Guys, welcome to the FG Guide from Level 1 to Master 2. Uh, we're going to be talking about the targets you're going to hit, we're going to talk about the teams you can use and the units that are best for this. Now you guys do realize it's a T and a D, so I'm going to be using the Chai Strat. If you don't know what that is, this video will explain it fully for you and what the best way to use the strategy is. But first off, before I go any further, uh, thank you for having a good sense of humor guys for my April Fool's video. Um, a lot of you guys are, are, are hilarious actually and I, I'm glad a lot of you guys enjoyed it. So uh, for those who were a or, or upset by me saying that I apologize I apologize in the video but it's all you gotta have fun in game and a big happy birthday to my mom that part was real uh, she'll never see this but you know what you always got to say that out loud when you can and at the same time I will I wasn't lying when I said 75k for one you are guy so never ever complain about a shaft um, I'm not even complaining it is what it is I got May as the only you are the rest were all R's and SR's yeah, it is what it is. You know what? You walk into a casino, you sometimes walk out empty-handed. It's just how, how life goes, right? So moving on, though. Let's go into the actual FG. So we are going to do uh, number one and number two. So I have to do this in two, diff two different videos. Obviously, we'll go to number five today, and then we'll finish up to master level two. So here's the team that I'm referring to. So I'm going to take KCM out for a second. Uh, I'm going to put Psy back in, and I'm going to throw KCM. Oopsie. Uh, boop, boop, boop. Let's put Psy back in. Where is my boy Psy? Uh, he is down here somewhere. There he is. And we're going to throw in Datara OG. The reason why you don't put KCM in here right now, guys, is because he will actually end up not giving you the crit damage buff until he does his Jitsu. So the, the first buff he does where he transforms into KCM, he only ends up giving you critical rate up, right? I don't need that. What I need is the crit damage. He does that on the second move, and I can't afford an FG right now to, to do that, uh, especially against this the TND unit. Uh, you can definitely do that, though, when you are fighting against um, other units in the game. Um, such as uh, A units or etc. right? Or, or another T unit. But when it's a T and D, you definitely don't want to do that. So first thing you're going to do here, guys, this is straightforward. I'm just going to go ahead and attack both of them. Um, you don't really need to do my strategy on stage one. Everybody who starts the game will be able to finish this one. It gives you one fragment uh, for the characters that you have. In my case, it is going to only be uh, Krapato, or Ka Kabato, sorry. Um, and yeah, so we're going to go ahead and continue this on. And as you know, when you go from level 1 to Master 1, so uh, stopping at stage 5, um, you're going to end up getting yourself um, random random uh, setup here in terms of your cells, right? So don't worry, when you hit Master 1 and Master 2, your cells are organized based on how you set it up. That's why it's important to do it. But in the beginning, it's completely random. This here is absolute luck, guys. Uh, this never happens, by the way, for me, uh, having a perfect cell setup by there, by there. But you see, like, Spirit went first, Force went second, Energy went last. So again, it is random, but it's just happen to be the proper cell setup all right so there you go number two is done so here uh, obviously kill so you always want to kill the featured units so start off with uh kabuto if you have a lot of a units in your team if you have a lot of t units kill obito first and then you focus on the rest okay so two is easy you got him and orochimaru oh you got the two of them and orochimaru uh so let's go to number three i know a lot of you are like hey you're a whale this part's easy for you obviously we might be struggling but the purpose is guys we if you go to the nxbnt.com website the database the events tab will have the new teams that we're going to create for you i'm just showing you my team but th that website will actually have the team set up for you so you know what to attack and who to attack okay so here uh, you have two different tribes you got two-man tribe and a three-man tribe realistically you want to take out Obito first so I'm gonna go ahead and actually do that with uh, Minato and we'll set up our um, our next attack shortly so there we go pretty much kills him uh, Kabuto here is not much of an issue Obito is the real problem because he does guard rate up he has a lot of buffs uh, Kabuto's real big issue is really gonna be his jitsu so if you can you know if you're if you're fighting this battle uh, focus on taking Obito out first or Madara as I like to call him uh, and then jump over to killing Kabuto next but here we're gonna take out everybody real quick and then we're only gonna have uh, Kabuto left so we'll go ahead and take him out as well and we move on to the next one so guys um, again always featured units first um, base you know you can build your team based on what we what we recommend to you on the NXB website or if you have my units this team will probably do the best for you if they're leveled up obviously uh, but in terms of um, in terms of you, like using your own units if you can't if you can't build any of those teams remember T units are obviously better against D units so put those in if you're fighting over to a first do a good mixed bag of A and T's and tribes work really well if you're a brand new player new team 7 tribe which is uh, uh, SR Baruto SR Sarada and uh, Rare Mitsuki is going to do a lot of damage here especially on Obito so uh, definitely focus on that if you don't have a an OP tribe like Bond of Irasen, for example right okay so here we are back to the same units we have Kikakashi uh, Minato uh, Naruto and um, Sakura so uh, the two man tribes here are these two here 
plus Naruto and Minato. So you can go ahead and take out, um, in this case, right, if I'm going to target properly, I'd be killing um, Kabuto first. So let's just target properly like you would normally do if you were a new player. So kill Kabuto first with my A units. So this will kill him, most likely kill Kid Kakashi. Obito is going to go ahead and attack with his massive fan. Thank you for the for the air, bro. It's kind of hot in this desert. Um, and then here, I mean, Minato would be your best target to kill first. Then Naruto, then Sakura, you can leave for last. We're going to go ahead and kill off the, all of them, hopefully, with this one hit. And if it doesn't, then we'll just finish them off with the next round. No big deal. There we are. Uh, and then, of course, moving on to the last unit. So I've got two. I got one A, one T, and one uh, and, and so Jiraiya is my T nukes uh, against D unit, so I'm going to go ahead and use him. So there you go. So T unit, obviously good against D units, and he does nuking on his Jitsu, so this should kill him off no problem. And that is the end of that one. So again, targeting is very important, guys. I know this looks very easy for me, obviously, because I've been playing forever and I'm a whale. But for you new players, targeting is going to matter quite a bit and know who to target. So when you do things like new Team 7 Tribe, you definitely want to make sure you're targeting Obito because he's a D unit and your tribe is a T. Uh, so you want to put a lot more focus on killing Kabuto first and then Obito you can probably one shot with your tribe. Remember to focus on your units first, the tribe awakening and enhancement second because that's what matters most is your actual units. All right, so here we go. Uh, we'll start off with Minato on Obito because we got T versus D as mentioned. He'll do his skill too. Now as you see here, I didn't one shot them this time, right? So obviously you can tell the difference in terms of power now uh, once you get up to stage 5. So for newer players who are in the 300k range, you may still have a little bit of hard time. But if you follow the strategy correctly, you should be able to do this no problem. So here, uh, two units are attacking, heavy's coming next. So I'm going to go ahead and kill Jiraiya with uh, my, my Jutsus here. And we sh hopefully will attack heavy next, uh, but it may actually end up hitting uh, Orochimaru. So there we go, one dead. There we go, Heavy's dead, perfect, and Urchimaru can go ahead and attack. He's going to do a silence on Toby, and that's fine. Um, I don't even know if we're if actually connected or not. So here we have a two-man tribe. We had a three-man tribe with the Sunning, uh, which we took out already. Uh, and then we have a three-man, oh, sorry, two-man tribe here with the um, Obito and Kabuto. So again, just focus on taking out the harder units. Now here, A is actually really tough to kill, so kill A first and then B. Um, so it should have been uh, Obito, like brand new Obito White Mask. Then you should kill uh, Heavy, Jiraiya, uh, and then um, kill off A, B, and then Darui. And then you can kill off these guys here as well too, obviously. So a couple targets you guys can focus on. So here I'm going to go ahead and take out um, Kabuto with Kakashi. He's obviously got a Jitsu. Now his Jitsu does do uh, quite a bit of buffs, but it's not threatening enough yet, right? So there you go. So I didn't kill him there, but... Obviously took him down with enough health. And right here, I'm going to go ahead and target uh, probably Darui here because he's going to attack next. Yeah, and then we'll go ahead and kill him off and focus on the rest of the units. And again, the next day, which is tomorrow, I'll be recording uh, Master 1 and 2 and I'll release the compilation of these two together. Uh, but that is pretty much going to be it for FG. Now, I'm curious to see if we can do Master 2. Only reason why I say this is because uh, Obito does such an incredible... Uh, guard rate up that it's going to be hard to connect and hit properly with the with the actual tribe itself so you want to make sure that when you're doing the runs for m2 and m1 if obito does his skill too to remember that chances are you're going to be guard rate and your your actual damage on your tribe will only be half so you might be seeing a lot of resets happen tomorrow guys all right so let's see what happens here even if i don't finish in 100 i will probably get 100 hopefully on this one uh the following the following turns that i have left but i'll probably record whatever i can and show you guys what we get here. All right, so there you go, all done. Obito should have probably died a lot quicker than that. He shouldn't have been the last one left. But we had a obviously my team being a little bit OP. Things are th things go awry. They don't they don't get controlled as well. But as an as a new player, you should be able to control that. All right, guys. So that was master level one. Uh, I hope that helped out in terms of targeting. If you have any questions, leave it in the comment section. Remember to subscri subscribe, guys, and like the video. Um, we're almost at 7K. Almost at 7K, and I'm almost in my one year. I've got one month, actually, uh, month and 25 days, I think, till I hit my one year on YouTube. So I've exceeded where I want to be in YouTube uh, as a content creator, and uh, I, I want to keep growing with you guys. So check out Game of the Week as well, too. That'll be going on, and I'm going to continue that until it grows, and you guys love that content. Um, and I'm hoping you guys jump on board and uh, support your mans. So, anyway, this is Payne. Enjoy. Master Level 1 and 2 are coming up shortly. Good morning, everybody. Payne Blade back here again from Server 1 representing IIC. Guys, welcome back to Master 1 and Master 2 of the Kabuto and Obito FG. 
Um, here we are. We're going to be tackling this real quick. We're going to see what we get here. Um, so I'm going to be using the same team, right? So remember, you guys can use the same setup if you have it, uh, or you can actually do a co-op setup, or you can do the same um, uh, tribe special in spirit and set up your team the way you want. Again, check out nxbnt.com for the teams that we're going to set up for you. The database will have everything you need there. I'm just going to help you guys in terms of uh, attack patterns, obviously, which I've already done one through five. But here you're only going to be facing the two opponents that are featured. All right. So uh, here the goal is simple, guys. You want to attack um, Kabuto with everything you got in the beginning and only tribe special him. Uh, and that's all that's going to really matter in this fight. Uh, outside of that, it's pretty straightforward. If you have the power, you should be able to finish this no problem. Now, the only issue you, you may face is the fact that um, Obito may do a skill 2, which for one turn can actually stop your damage from going through because of his guard rate at 40%. Probably higher because he, he's going to have the, um, the ability to... Uh, uh, the ability to um, do it again over and over again, right? So just remember to, you may have to reset if that's the case. So just keep that in mind, guys, when you're doing this fight. But as you can see here with my OP units, it's pretty straightforward. The only problem you may face here is with Kabuto doing this special, uh, which may cause you to do less damage due to the fact that um, his ability uh, does DIR and D DRR down for you and DIR down. So just keep that in mind when you're doing this. And let's get this out of the way here. Okay, so I uh, also does track her down with his ability. So it's not that big of a deal if you have Psy. You should be able to still finish it, no problem. Here, I'm most likely just going to end up killing him. Uh, if not in this turn, there we go. Uh, the, the, definitely the next turn with with my uh, with my spirit team. Now, what this does, the reason why you have the setup, guys, is you can do um, your tribe now. And then on the, on the next turn, you can actually end up doing your spirit team again, which is your stronger nuke team. The only downfall to that is the fact that your new team is all, all A units in this one. So if Kavos is left and you have, um, if you don't one-shot him, um, your A units will do a little less damage, obviously, because of their of their type. But, you know what, this should one-shot him pretty easily. There you go. So that ends M1. Pretty straightforward with that team. So you should be able to do it, no problem, guys, if you have the power and the setup. Uh, so there are four fragments there. All right, guys, welcome back to M2 now. So as you can see here, I got a B, which was a 70 something percent on my first uh, two runs, actually. Um, and I decided, you know what, I don't have time to actually do the recording. I just want to get those numbers out of the way. And so what we're going to do here, guys, I want to show you guys the team I used to get those numbers. Uh, right now, I think the best I could probably do is hit most likely in the 80s if I get a perfect run. Um, the only issue here, realistically, guys, is one character, and that's Kabuto. Uh, the reason why he's a problem in this is because he's actually constantly doing crit down and attack down on all the units every round. Um, obviously causing them to hit a lot less. So I'm going to give this team a try. This is a different team that I've been using uh, just to kind of see how the numbers look. So you guys are going to do this for the first time with me as well too. Ideally here we want skill 2 from Toby. That doesn't happen. So let's do a quick reset here. Um, I'm going to keep doing this until we finally get the perfect run. But the thing is, you want Toby to do a skill too because you need to hit Kabuto with it so the rest of the units can hit a lot harder. Um, the goal here is to one-shot Obito, or Madara as you want to call him. Uh, and then from there, it's just smooth sailing. Um, and smooth sailing, I mean you got to take out Obito. So, uh, sorry, uh, Kabuto. So, the problem here is trying to get Kabuto down. And, uh, you know, the, the tribe itself does 16 million, so Madara slash Obito is not a problem. Uh, but Kabuto's issue is my nukes aren't hitting hard enough in order to get the job done. So let's see what happens here. I don't know if this is actually going to work. Uh, this is just a team setup that I wanted to test out. It might be a lot lower. If it is, I'll accept it. We'll move on. We'll, I'll keep doing it all week. And if I do finish this, I'll show you guys. No one currently has done this, by the way. Uh, all the top players are currently struggling with this because of Kabuto's ability to reduce damage. Um, honestly, at this point, I may as well just try. So I'm going to keep you guys here, okay? So let's put it down to, so what would normally happen is uh, Toby would do his uh, skill 2 and that would cause a damage reduction rate on um, Kabuto. So here, if I don't even get a stun, I, may, I might just even start over. The good thing with having KCM there though, yeah, that was really weak. Let's start over again. The good thing with having, oh, that was scary. Um, the good thing with having um, KCM in this team, first off, his, his normal buff 
it doesn't hit the target, which to some is a problem, but to me it's actually great because that also stops uh, Kabuto from doing his special uh, Jitsu on the second round, so we can actually prevent him from, from hitting the three people who aren't stunners. Uh, and then in the third round, you have a chance to stun with Datara, obviously. So that is the opportunity there you want to take. Uh, but yeah, I mean, it's, it's weird because this is the same thing that happens in Abyss, right? You, you get the characters that aren't the greatest doing the most amount of um, impact. So he is doing a lot of impact because he's got his LB2 active and his regular uh, trait active, which is a great trait for stopping damage from coming in, obviously. Uh, but normally, uh, you know, you're, you're not facing Kabuto with this much, uh, this much power. So let's see what happens here. There we go. I got a skill two finally. So let's go ahead and run this whole thing. If you can possibly stun him and stop him from doing his jitsu, you actually have a pretty good chance. The thing is, I'm not gonna I'm gonna sit here and reset with you guys all day long just to get that chance to happen. Um, so I'm just gonna go with faith here and just if it happens, it happens. It doesn't, it doesn't. As you can see there, Kakashi didn't even do a, uh, a crit. That's a huge problem. But you, as you saw, like right there, Kabuto doesn't have his, his jitsu, so that's okay. That kind of works out in our favor here. Um, he's doing attack down or crit down. You want to actually hit Kabuto. So the idea here is to hit Kabuto with all your all your units, and the only thing you hit Obito with is your tribe special, which is this one here. So let's see if I can do a couple crits at least. I probably won't though. Crit, crit percentage is pretty low right now. So yeah, right there. So normally on a crit that would have done, I think 1.2 million, um, and at, and at the same time uh, Kakashi would have done about like 900 to to a million as well too. So. I'm losing out a lot of damage here by by setting this uh, aside, but that's okay. Again, we're get, we're doing this just for you guys, just to show you how difficult it is to do M2. Um, it is it is still beatable. Don't get me wrong. It just needs a little bit of tweaking and resets, quite a bit of times actually. So in order for me to actually get this done, resets will have to happen a lot, and I will do that on my own time, but not while you guys are here. I don't want to take up your time for this. So, so this is kind of the this is kind of a problem here. Okay, so this jitsu here is actually an issue because. Um, it causes damage increase rate down on us, so now all my characters are hitting a lot less. Uh, sorry, damage increase rate up and it gives them damage reduction rate up. Sorry, my mistake, other way around. Uh, so it's causing it's causing them to obviously hit a lot harder. So here, um, what you want to do is you, you don't want to do your tribe. You obviously want to just go ahead and hit them here. Hopefully you can connect with a couple crits because Dator gave you crit up, but again, the next round he gives you crit down. Oh, that's Kabuto. So it takes away quite a bit of your crit that you gain from Dator. So there you go, no crit from KCM. As you can see, if that if all of this was crit, he would be like a lot lower in health. So because he's not critting, or I'm not critting, there, there's finally a crit there. So I mean he would have been probably at 25% health left if, if all my units crit when they were supposed to crit, right? So um so yeah, so there you go. That's that's gonna be an issue. Now now Obito there just did his Kamui, and this is gonna cause guard rate up now. So I, let's see if I can one-shot him. We'll slow this down real quick, guys, so you guys can kind of see the damage. So last two times I did it, one-shot him, no problem. It was 16 million, he pretty much evaporated. Like, there was, no, uh, there was no issues with him. So let's see if I can pull the same thing off again. If I can, that's great. Uh, so we'll have to just keep trying to kill uh, Kabuto and just hopefully run a perfect crit run um, and, and land those as well. I might have to do a couple of tweaking on the, some of the characters, but at, at the end of the day, the, the ideal setup is there. Alright, so there you go. So 15 million, as you saw, no problem killing him. Uh, so the issue still stands that Kabuto is the real problem here. Um, so there you go, 73.35% guys. So sitting with the average, uh, you know, I haven't hit 80% yet. I will, I will again, if I run a perfect run, I think I could hit 85-86%, uh, but not 100 for sure. And there you go, you can see there, the 80, even 73% doesn't give you the same amount of resources as... Um, M1 does, but you get one extra to two extra frags as an opportunity. So there is M2, guys. Best of luck with FG. If you have any questions, uh, please check out nxbnt.com. There is the event uh, site. We set up the teams for you there. So this is one team you can run if you have any questions in terms of uh, which targets you should do. Check out the video again. I'm putting both of them together. Uh, and again, NXB and oh, sorry, NXB, yeah, nxbnt.com for the events tab under, uh, it's going to be under FG. You can also submit your teams if you finish master with a, a different team than mine uh, and that will actually help the community out as well too so thank you to patman for getting that going and everybody else good luck with fg 
Good luck on getting uh, um, Obito if you haven't got him yet, or Madara. Uh, and uh, remember to pick up to remember to pick up Kabuto from the shop for free. He probably will be a pretty important link bonus in the future. Uh, same with Obito. I'm assuming he's probably going to be a, a pretty big important one for the real Madara when he comes out. All right, guys, this is Payne. Have a wonderful day. We'll talk soon. Remember to join us for Phasmophobia coming up very soon. Take care.